So, one of the treatments for feline hypothyroidism is radioactive iodine therapy or iodine-131. Now, this is the one treatment that the feline medicine specialist veterinarians believe has the ability to actually cure a cat of feline hypothyroidism. Feline hypothyroidism is the most common endocrine disease in senior cats. It affects one in 10 senior cats, and the age at which diagnosis occurs varies from four years up to 22 years. The average age a cat's diagnosed for hypothyroidism is 13 years of age, and the vast majority of cats are six years or older before they're diagnosed. Cats who have been diagnosed with feline hypothyroidism, after initial treatment with medication, just to make sure that we're not unmasking any kidney disease, they can then be referred on to have radioactive iodine therapy. And the way this works is they go to a special hospital that provides this treatment with veterinarians who are actually trained in radioactive iodine therapy. And the veterinarians will calculate a dose and then they will give your cat radioactive iodine in a capsule. How does this work? Well, iodine is one of the main components of the thyroid hormones and iodine in the body of cats and humans and other mammals is concentrated mainly in the thyroid gland where thyroid hormones T3 and T4 are produced. So radioactive iodine therapy targets the thyroid gland. Radioactive iodine has a short half-life. Its half-life is eight days. So what that means is if I give a cat one gram of radioactive iodine, then in eight days, there will only be half that radioactive iodine remaining in the cat. So half of it has already decayed to non-radioactive elements. And then in another eight days, there'll only be a half of the remaining half a gram. So there will, in 16 days, there'll only be 0.25 of a gram of radioactive iodine. Now, when the cats go to these hospitals, they have to be kept isolated for five to seven days because they're emitting too much radiation for it to be safe to be at home with humans. Now the veterinarians who perform this treatment, they can give you the protocol and the guidelines, but in general terms, they'll be in the hospital where they give the radioactive iodine therapy for five to seven days, and then they'll be sent home. Now there are limits for the next couple of weeks in how long the cat can be near you, and the veterinarians will discuss that with you, but in general terms, you don't want the cat sitting on you or lying on the bed with you because they're still emitting radiation as the radioactive iodine continues to decay to non-radioactive elements. And we need to prevent the cat licking us and handling feces and urine from the cat needs to be disposed of in a certain manner that the vets who treat cats with radioactive iodine will discuss with you. Now, the, the benefit of radioactive iodine therapy, as we said, is it targets the thyroid gland specifically, and it's the one treatment that may actually cure your cat of hypothyroidism. So the cost up front initially is higher than the other treatments, but it's been argued that long-term it may be actually cheaper than some of the other treatment options. But it does depend on your individual cat and whether they've got any other issues. And some older cats may have kidney disease and those cats may not be suitable for radioactive iodine therapy because with kidney disease, it's a little bit of a balancing act between looking after the kidneys and controlling the hypothyroidism because in hypothyroid cats, their blood pressure is usually higher than normal. And in cats with kidney disease, sometimes an increase in blood pressure may actually help the kidneys function better than if they were to have a normal blood pressure. Practitioner, your veterinarian will have already looked into whether there's any signs of kidney disease and hopefully they should have already been on hypothyroid medication and had follow-up blood tests to see if any underlying kidney disease was evident once the blood pressure in your hypothyroid cat has come back to closer to normal, when the hypothyroidism has been controlled by oral medication. Now, what are the side effects of radioactive iodine therapy? Well, well, look, in some cats, the, 
the potential complication of radioactive iodine therapy is some cats, not very many, but a few, may become hypothyroid. That means that their thyroid gland then no longer produces enough thyroid hormones. It's okay because if this does happen, the solution is to actually give them thyroxine, which is one of the thyroid gland hormones, and that can return them to what they call a normal thyroid or euthyroid state. Now, a number of cats may be hypothyroid initially after radioactive iodine therapy, but over several months, they return to a normal thyroid or euthyroid state. Anyway, look, tell me if you've had your cat treated for hypothyroidism, whether it was by medication or whether it was by radioactive iodine therapy and how it went. And if you've got any questions, pop them in the discussion below. If you'd like to know more about hypothyroidism in general and how to fix your cat, what the treatment options are and what to watch out for at home and how to care for your cat at home, check this video, which might be either here or, or it might be up here. Otherwise, I'll leave a link in the description. I hope this video was useful or educational for you. And if you've got any questions, please pop them in the discussion below. If the video was useful, please press the like button. It'll tell YouTube that the information was useful for cat owners and hopefully share it with other cat owners who may be looking for this information. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.